Good day class. In this video, we are going to talk about the central differentiation of Zhangfu organs. This is one of the most important differentiation methods that's in the diagnostics. From this differentiation method, we will be able to identify the disease nature as well as the location. This differentiation method initially from Huang Di Nei Jing, so also from the classic. The initial thoughts was from there, and then after these thousands of years, hundreds of years development, it gradually, become, it gradually becomes a very important diagnostic method in our theory. The reason is because in from the differentiation methods that we have studied, such as the A principles, we will have a general idea which categories the disease fails in, such as in the such as an exterior syndrome or interior syndrome, cold syndrome or heat syndrome. But you don't know what's the cause or what's going to be affected in this situation. Then we introduce the second differentiation method, exogenous factors, or the, the other term, etiological factors. So from this, this differentiation method, that we can identify the causes from the wind, from the coldness or from the in internal emotions, so that's to identify the causes. But even when we combine with these two, we still don't know what happened to the body. That's why we keep introducing the differentiation method according to the disease nature, such as the qi disorder, the blood disorder, the fluid disorder, the yin and yang disorder. So, we until now we have we will know what's the cause of the disease, what happened to the patient. But even if we combine these three different differentiation methods, we still don't know where they are, which organs was affected. So that's the category we're going to, that's the information that we're going to study in the central differentiation of Zhangfu organs. From this differentiation, we will know exactly which organ was, is affected and what's the cause. In this session, we're going to introduce, according to the organs, one by one, the first one we're going to introduce is the heart. Because the central deviation of the Zhangfu organs we base on the Zhangfu organs. So we're going to have a quick revision of the heart function. The heart located in the chest, the orifix is the tongue. The heart houses the mind. Also from the tongue diagnosis, when we use the we separate the location, the tip is the heart. So as you can see from this image, this tongue, the tip is red. Compared with compared with the, the rest of the tongue, the tip of the tongue is red. So in this situation, you can think about does this patient might suffer from the Hard heat. This is um, a tongue photo from a COVID 19 patient. The heart function, the heart governs the blood and vessels. So the heart disorder can affect the, the blood in the body, also can affect the pulse. The heart houses the mind. The heart problem, the etiological factors that affect the heart, 
and results in a mind disorder, mental disorder, or something related to the to the mind doesn't have to be the mental disorder such as insomnia, poor memory. These are related to the mind. Also, in order to function well, the heart, we have mentioned that the heart qi, the heart yin and yang are very important. The relationship between the heart qi and heart yin, heart yang. Heart yin is similar to the fluid. Heart yang is the heat. If we got excess heat, it can be the heart yang or can be external heat. If you got excess heat, you're going to increase the temperature of the water, you're going to increase the heart in, which will result in the fish going to jump. It's not stay, not smooth or quiet. So in this situation, the patient will present the fish is the heart spirit. In this, in this situation, the patient will present as palpitation, chest pain, irritation. So these are the common symptoms can manifest in a heart disorder. And when you think about the causes, you think about the, fun the heart function. The heart houses the mind, so it can affect the consciousness, the emotion, the thought. The thought also related to the consciousness. The heart is one of the most complicated organ or the complicated symptoms. The reason is the heart is the only organ that has Qi, blood, fluid, yin and yang disorders. The rest of the, the, other, the, the other organs, such as the lung, the spleen, they have some of them, but don't have all of them. But the heart is the only one have all different disorders. So let's begin to introduce one by one. first one, heart blood deficiency. So this symptom happens in the heart's location. The nature is the blood deficiency. So now, when you take off the heart, you think about the blood deficiency, the patient will present with pale, right? everything pale related to the blood deficiency. That's because the heart blood fails to nourish the heart. The love version, pale complexion, pale lips, pale coating, pale tongue. That's because due to the blood deficiency. And then the blood, the heart needs, needs the blood to nourish. If the blood fails to nourish the heart, the heart function, the heart will not function well. What's the heart function? Palpitation, that can happen. That's because the, again, from the fish in the previous image, heart blood deficiency. That's from the fish, you don't have enough water in the tank or in the pot. So the fish also going to jump. That's a palpitation, insomnia, dream disturbed sleep, poor memory. That's the related to the mind. Dizziness is from the blood deficiency. The pulse is thready. That's because in the body we don't have enough blood, so the pulse become a string. A very thin thread. So when you understand, try to memorize this some this syndrome, you need to memorize that the the possible heart function. 
it's from the, the heart itself, the thoughts, the mind, and then the blood, blood deficiency symptoms. So that's how to remember and how to identify in our clinical practice. In the heart deficiency, the patient may present with insomnia, during disturbed sleep. And then let's go to the second symptom, the heart indeficiency. This symptom manifests as internal deficiency heat due to heart in fails to nourish the heart. So that's the in. The in also the fluid, so the in and the blood is very similar. They all in liquid form. Compared with the yang, heart yang, these two, heart in and heart blood, also in in category. But the heart in deficiency will has will have deficiency heat. The, the deficiency heat will present this dry kind of dryness, dry mouth, dry throat. Five hearts or five pounds heat, beverage in sensation in the palms and soles. That's the, the symptoms of the indeficiency. The, the hot sensation, the hot sensation is from the deficiency heat, the relatively excess yang because of the in. So in this situation, it's similar to this, that's the normal level of yin and yang. But now, because in deficiency, and then the yang, although the yang is still normal, but compared with this yang, the yin still lack of this part of yin. So the patient may present with heat syndrome. That's why the patient will have dry, dryness and hot sensation in the palms and soles. Flushed cheek, tidal fever, that's also due to indeficiency. Night sweats, weight loss, indeficiency. And now again, this indeficiency happens in the heart. So the patient must have the manifestations of the heart. These include restlessness, palpitation, insomnia during disturbed sleeping. Now some of you might realize that the descriptions here is very similar to the heart, the heart blood deficiency. When you go back to the previous, previous slides, you will see the also palpitation insomnia during disturbed sleep. Although the tongue manifestation is different, Heart indeficiency, the tongue is red. Heart blood deficiency, the tongue is pale. So that's the, the difference. One of the difference you can identify from the tongue. You can distinguish these two. But from the symptoms, the patient may present with palpitation, insomnia. Both of, both of them and presents with this. What's the difference between the insomnia in a heart deficiency syndrome and a blood deficiency syndrome? The difference is, is the insomnia presents as very difficult to fall asleep or the patient is very easy to be wake up. So very light sleep, a very light sleeping. So some patients will tell you that they feel very difficult to fall asleep. Some will tell you that they can sleep, but they are very light noise, very soft noise, they will wake up. That's both, both of them is considered as in, insomnia. The one due to heart indeficiency, the patient will feel difficult to fall, fall asleep. 
The reason is because of the heat. The diffusion heat, although diffusion heat still heat, the heat will cause restlessness. So it, it, this is a kind of hyperactive. That's why the patient could not sleep. The one from the heart blood deficiency, the patient will have light or light sleeping. So the patient can be wake up easily. In this situation, it's because the heart blood cannot nourish the heart spirit. So that's the key difference between a heart in deficiency and a heart blood deficiency. That's why from the inquiry, when we ask about the insomnia, you need to ask more clearly, more specifically, does, is it very difficult to fall asleep or very easy to be wake up? From the treatments, we also we have different treatments towards the blood deficiency and the in deficiency. From the hot blood deficiency, we're going to use, some, use the method to tonify the hot blood. From the, a heart in deficiency, we're going to use the method to tonify the heart in. Or heart qi deficiency. Again, when we see a new syndrome, we will separate them with qi deficiency and heart syndrome. What kinds of symptoms can presents the in a, in a qi deficiency syndrome, such as short of breath, reluctance to talk, mental fatigue, spontaneous sweating, pale. The symptoms worse upon physical exertion or physical activities. So all these symptoms become worse after movements that's a key point for a qi deficiency syndrome. And now in this in this situation, the patient presents with palpitation, chest tightness. The patient also can present with fatigue, general fatigue. The tongue, the tongue is pale, so for the key manifestations. Palpitation, must have palpitation, chest tightness, and the uh, qi deficiency syndrome. That's the how to diagnose a heart qi deficiency. The chest tightness is also a sign of a heart qi deficiency. That's because the qi cannot, because of the deficiency qi, we don't have enough qi in the chest to support the chest. That's why the patient will feel the chest tightness. Heart yang deficiency. This syndrome manifests as internal cold due to heart yang deficiency. In this syndrome, you need to think about that a yang deficiency syndrome. If it's the body, has no enough yang, has not enough yang, what happens? And the difference between a heart yang deficiency and a heart qi deficiency. That's the difference between the qi deficiency and yang deficiency. For yang deficiency syndrome, syndrome patient can present this sort of breath, mental fatigue, Spontaneous sweating, cold, cold, pale. So these are the yang, the symptoms of a yang deficiency syndrome. Because of the yang deficiency, we got relatively excess in, so the patient will present in in symptoms, which is the cold symptoms. The pulse is deep, weak, or 
irregular intermittent or irregular intermittent. The reason is because the yang qi could not promote the blood movement. And also because this is the heart yang deficiency. Patient view presents with palpitation, so that's the key manifestation. Palpitation, chest tightness, or even pain, or even chest pain. That's from the heart yang deficiency. So the key symptoms of the heart problem, palpitation, chest tightness, or chest pain, insomnia. The, the most difference, the most important difference from a heart yang deficiency and heart qi deficiency is whether or not these symptoms will become worse upon movement such as the palpitation become worse after walking for 100 meters that's from heart qi deficiency or the yang deficiency mostly the patient must present with coldness especially cold limbs also from the tongue, heart yang deficiency can the patient may present with enlarged tongue, pale enlarged tongue, enlarged or swollen tongue. That's because yang deficiency can cause water retention. The heart qi deficiency can present with pale tongue but not enlarged. The sudden collapse of a heart yang. This syndrome mainly manifests as critical, a critical condition of the extreme exhaustion of the heart. So this syndrome is developed from the heart yang deficiency, and this is a worse situation than the heart yang deficiency. The patient may present with the symptoms similar to the heart yang deficiency. For the yang collapse, you can go back to the notes. That's when we talk about the yang collapse and in collapse, and specifically now it happens in the heart. So this yang collapse already affect, may affect the heart mind. So the patient may present with mental confusion or unconsciousness and this happens in the heart the patient may present with palpitation chest pain because of the yang deficiency yang collapse the patient may present with yang deficiency symptoms or also more severe yang deficiency symptoms sudden cold cold sweat cold lumps pale complexion, faint breathing. So that's a worse condition of the yang collapse. This syndrome sometimes is very common to see in a heart attack. As you may present with palpitation, chest pain, cold sweat. So you can see the patient present with severe pain and sweating, cold lumps, the hands and feet are cold. In this video, we have introduced the five heart deficiency syndromes, the heart blood deficiency, the heart in deficiency, the heart qi deficiency, the heart yang deficiency, and the collapse of heart yang. These five deficiency symptoms, they have some relationship, they have some connections in among each other, among these symptoms. So it is very important for us to distinguish what's the very typical manifestations of each of each symptom. That's the only way to help us to, to identify which syndrome the patient presents. For instance, a 
Okay, from the heart qi deficiency, the qi deficiency, the symptoms must be worse upon movements or physical exertion. The heart in deficiency, the in uh, in deficiency syndrome, the patient must present with internal heat, such as the feverish feverish sensation in the palms, soles. And then, apart from these manifestations, alas, the heart problem, which can be palpitation, chest pain, ir irritation, insomnia, dream disturb, sleeping, poor memory, or even unconsciousness, also other manifestations from the pulse, from the tongue. In the next video, we are going to continue the discussion on the heart disorders. Thank you for your attention.